One of the most important books I think I've ever read is by John A. McMillan called The Authority of the Believer. And the scripture that he zeroes in on in that book is Ephesians 3.10, which was a big surprise to me because I realized the whole book of Ephesians revolves around that one scripture, Ephesians 3.10. Now, are you curious about what that scripture is? Because it's, it's very, it's very cool. It is, <clears throat> oh, good. To the intent, now this is, what is God's intention? What is the reason God wants us to be filled with revelation? What is the reason God wants us to understand what is that mighty power, that mighty authority, which he exerted when he raised Christ from the dead? Do you know, do you know who made the demons originally? They were angels. God created them. God created the angels and they, he didn't make them puppets. They had free will and they chose to rebel against the living God. So when we, when we use our authority over demons, guess what? They know who created them. They know who gave you authority over them. They know. The demons know. Now you, by the way, need to operate in faith. You need to see things by faith. Sometimes when I bind, bind Satan, I, I visualize it. I am by faith. I imagine it in my imagination. God gave us an imagination. I know through testimony and through the word of God that angels are big. And every time they show up, they tell people don't fear not. So obviously they are fearsome beings. So when I bind up a demon and Jesus said, whatever you bind on earth is bound in the heavenlies. So when I bind some spirit, some evil spirit, that spirit knows who God is. They know that God created them originally. They know what Jesus paid for in John 3, 3, 10, uh, this is the reason Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil. They know they, and they know that all authority has been given to you, the believer. And I'm going to prove that here. Uh, Matthew 18, 28, 18, uh, all authority has been given to me. Jesus said, now you go. And in parentheses, you go in that authority and change the world, I'm paraphrasing, make disciples of all nations. And then Luke 10, 19, I have given you authority, you authority, I've given you authority to trample, on, to overcome all, and it says here power, but another, another if you look in the uh, concordance, all authority, to, to overcome all the authority of the enemy. Who's the enemy? Satan. And nothing will harm you. And Psalm, I'm sorry, in Mark 3, 14, I'll jump to that. He appointed 12 and, all, and I'm skipping here, to have authority to drive out demons, to exercise authority. And it says those who believe will lay hands on the sick they will cast out demons. And, when I, and Brother e. Hagen, Kenneth E. Hagen has a wonderful teaching about that. Casting out demons is to exercise authority over all demonic power in the world. Now, this is for you and for me. Jesus wants us. Who's our enemy? Satan. God, Jesus gave us authority over all the power of the enemy. And in uh, Psalm 18, 37 to 45, King David had revelation that he had authority over Satan. I pursued my enemies. I overtook them. I did not turn back until they were destroyed. I crushed them so that they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. Mm, you armed me with strength for battle. God has armed you 
He's armed you for strength for battle. You humbled my adversaries before me. You made my enemies turn their backs in flight. That's what God wants to do for you. And I destroyed my foes. That's what God will do for us. They cried for help, but there was no one to save them. That's the demons. And I destroyed my foes. I'm sorry. Uh, but God did not answer them. I beat them as fine as wind-blown dust. I trampled them like mud in the streets. That's what we need to do. He has, you have delivered me from the attacks. <laughs> Foreigners cower before me. As soon as they hear of me, they obey me. He understands obedience. He understands that the forces of darkness will obey. And in Mark 3, 14 and 15, oh, I did that one already, sorry. Deuteronomy 33, 27, the eternal God is your refuge and his everlasting arms are under you. He drives out the enemy before you. He, he cries out to us, destroy them. We need to take authority over Satan. And so what I was going to focus on is in Ephesians 3, verse 10. And that says, it's just so interesting, the, the intent, the whole intent of God is, was, is so that now the church, through the church, the manifold wisdom, the manifold wisdom of God should be made known to the devil. It says, made known to the rulers. You know, Satan is the God of this world. 1 Corinthians 4.4. 4. So, be, that should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. That's where the, that's where the, that's where the demons operate. So, the intention is that we, the church, the manifold wisdom of God would be made known to the devil and to all the demons that they would know that the whole intention that God has for us, the church, is that we would, the manifold wisdom of God. Now that means healing people, getting cripples out of wheelchairs. Yeah, and we don't have to start big. Just getting an infection from a splinter is a wonderful place to start. Start where you are. And use the authority that God has given you. I feel like I want to say so much more, but Ephesians 3.10, John A. McMillan wrote that book, The Authority of the Believer. And then Brother Hagen, Kenneth E. Hagen, wrote a book about the believer's authority. It's our authority. And then um, Brother Kenneth E. Hagen also prophesied in one of those prophecies. Uh, actually, I... I uh, talk about those prophecies and other videos about and about the fact that the body of that this is the time if not now when I mean we're in the last stages here if we and the body of Christ is going to rise up finally recognizing that they have authority over the enemy and over all the power of hell. We have authority because of what Jesus did. Satan really is the enemy. He's the enemy. Not people. Not our mother-in-law. Not our, not the people that we think did us wrong. The enemy is Satan and Jesus has given us authority over all the power of the enemy. And Ephesians 3.10 said the reason the reason for it all, the intention for everything Jesus did is that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God will be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms, which is Satan. In Jesus' name, I pray that you get revelation, just a little glimpse of the revelation of your authority. It's, it's like a giant leap you have to take to just 
believe realize this is true start speaking things whatever you ask in my name whatever you command if you look in the concordance whatever you command in my name i will do it jesus said so we have to start becoming uh, becoming uh obedient to to the faith that we have if you have faith for this just a little flickering of a match start using it and you know just like any muscle and you have to use your faith build your faith amen amen